Being a second youth, the Melbourne Old School Skate Sessions is a collective of skateboarders who don't care much for age-related stereotypes. Not content to simply reminisce about the memories of their skateboarding heydays, they're throwing themselves at the sport with renewed motivation and giving younger skaters a run for their money. Tamara O'Dine reports. From a distance, it looks like any other Saturday at the Frankston Skate Park. But if you look a little closer, the lined faces, grey hair and preference for safety gear give the game away. For five years, the middle-aged members of the Melbourne Old School Skate Sessions, or MOSS, have been meeting for an annual skate jam to push their physical limits and raise money for charity. Its members from all over Victoria are mostly in their 40s and represent the first generation of Australia's skateboarders. Some have been skating solidly since the 70s, others have made a return to the sport after a long hiatus forced by the dearth until recent years of skateboarding venues. Bumped in all May to the 40th and now there's all these great parks we thought hey, why shouldn't we be skating the park? So we started off skating early in the morning when there's no one around and uh, just so we didn't look complete fools. And uh, we've taken it from there, we love it. Three or four years on, or five years on, here we are. There's now more than a hundred old school skaters around the state who meet for weekly nighttime skate sessions. All us guys are 40, some of us are nearly 50, and we're pushing a, a new level, and people haven't done it before into this age bracket. And, yeah, so we're pioneers in a way. <laughs> we've got a guy over 60 the skates. He gets a lot of cheers when he does something good, so. It's all, it's all about you know, just getting out there having a go, just like it was when we were young. There's concrete, uh, bricklayer, doctor of philosophy, um, detective inspector in the police force. So there's a lot of, a lot of different professions. Rob Wedge Francis was Australia's first pro skater and the national champion in 1979. Apart from holding the unofficial record for being able to do more 360s than anyone else in Australia, he organises the annual skate jam. Proceeds pay for water projects in the remote villages of Swaziland, a cause the skaters are proud to support. If you take last year for an example, uh, we put in a, a 10,000 litre water tank and two kilometres of piping, which, uh, at which then fed 12 water taps. So that services about a thousand people that have never had a water supply. The Moss Skate Jam is also an opportunity for the older skaters to showcase their unique old school style. So good luck skaters, have a good time. Moss Jam 2009, let's hear it, come on. Set to a backing track of blaring 70s music, the event includes a fossil and grommet competition for fathers and sons, a freestyle section and awards for the best trick and fastest carve. Even their younger skating counterparts can't help but be impressed. And like we think there are only young people skate around. It's really inspiring to watch old people skating and still seeing that they're keeping the sport alive and everything. It's really, it's really good. Seeing young kids, you know, pick up a board and come over and say, "Oh, how old are you?" That's that's a bit of a buzz sometimes. And you tell them, they go, "Oh, wow, you're older than my dad." I think it's pretty rad watching them. Yeah, just the tricks that they do are so big and gnarly and just it's awesome. But the price of such fearlessness at age 40 plus is longer recovery times. Injuries can keep older skaters away from the bowl for months. It hurts a lot more when you fall off um, and you definitely don't come back as fast as what you used to and the reflexes aren't there but look you know at um, you know when you get to your 40s I guess you just take what you can get really but you know, I'm just happy to have a roll and no broken bones yet says he with a sore shoulder. For the members of Moss, it'll take a lot more than the prospect of injury and even ridicule to dull the allure of skating. Just the speed, the g-force, um, but also pulling off a move properly. You can either be a really mad move or we just stop and balance on the coping and come back down. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of beauty in it as well. Nothing compares. I, I don't get golf at all. 
Maybe I will later on. Do you ever get asked if, you know, do you think you're a bit old for this? No, I get told I'm a bit old for this. I don't get asked. I get told constantly, aren't you too old for this? I go, no. It's very simple, no. No. When I can't skate anymore, it's when I'm too old. And that brings us to the end of State Line for this week. Thanks for joining us. For more information on our stories or to contact us, you can go to our website.